On October 12th, a 10 to 30 meter asteroid is said to make a close flyby of Earth. The asteroid named 2012 TC4 will pass just 4,200 miles from Earth for the first time since it went out of range in 2012. Although NASA researchers are certain that it will not come any closer than this, if the asteroid did hit Earth, it could lead to a much more devastating level of impact than the 18 meter asteroid that hit the city of Chelyabinsk in Russia in 2013. That particular blast injured about 1,500 people and damaged over 7,000 buildings. And experts now say 2012 TC4 is something to keep an eye on. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the asteroid's next close approach to Earth will take place on December 29, 2019, although at a much further distance of more than 21 million miles if it were to make impact with Earth's atmosphere. Science Scientists predict the space rock would burn up before hitting the surface, but this could still cause damage and injuries at the ground level. It is something to keep an eye on. Dr. Judith Georgia Rice, an astronomer at the University of Texas McDonald Observatory, told AstroWatch, We could see an airburst may be broken windows, depending on where it hits. Researchers, however, are still uncertain of the asteroid's composition, which makes it difficult to predict what the effects of an impact on Earth would be. A spokesperson for NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory told the DailyMail.com 2012 TC4 was observed only briefly when it was discovered before it was too faint to see. The ongoing observation campaign and the data we collect during this flyby will provide more direct information on mineralogical composition, structure, size, physical properties of an asteroid and its velocity relative to the Earth will influence the effects on an impact. That is one of the reasons we perform follow-up observations to determine those physical properties. NASA is also using the opportunity to test its network of observatories for its planetary defense system system. In the event an asteroid did actually hit Earth, Dr. Michael Kelly, a scientist working on the NASA TC4 observation campaign, said, Scientists have always appreciated knowing when an asteroid will make a close approach to and safely past the Earth because they can make preparations to collect data to characterize and learn as much as possible about it. This time we are adding in another layer of effort using this asteroid flyby to test the worldwide asteroid detection and tracking network. Assessing our capability to work together in response to finding a potential real asteroid threat, NASA hopes to use its international network of observatories to recover, track and characterize 2012 TC4. Dr. Vishnu Reddy, assistant professor at the University of Arizona's Lunar and Planetary Laboratory who is leading the campaign, said, This is a team effort that involves more than a dozen observatories, universities and labs across the globe so we can collectively learn the strengths and limitations of our near-Earth object observation capabilities. This effort will exercise the entire system to include the initial and follow-up observations, precise orbit determination and international communications based on predictions made at NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. 2012 TC4 will pass no closer than 4,200 miles from Earth, although it will more likely pass much farther away. As far as 170,000 miles the asteroid was first discovered in 2012 when it sped past Earth, but it has been too distant and faint to see over the last five years. But as it starts to approach Earth in the coming months, Large telescopes will be used to detect it and establish the asteroid's precise trajectory. The new observations are expected to help refine knowledge about its orbit, narrowing the uncertainty about how far it will be from Earth at its closest approach in October. Paul Chodas, a manager working on the project, said, This is the perfect target for such an exercise because while we know the orbit of 2012 TC4 well enough to be absolutely certain it will not impact Earth, we haven't established its exact path just yet. It will be incumbent upon the observatories to get a fix on the asteroid as it approaches and work together to obtain follow-up observations that make more refined asteroid orbit determinations possible.